Hey everyone, John Kramer here, and yeah, I still hate sports, but I'm not going to talk about hating sports today, mostly because I get lots of really nasty comments in the comments section when I do that, and today I genuinely want to ask the sports fans out there to try and explain some things to me about the LeBron James business, which I genuinely do not understand. You know, and first of all, there was all this business with these videos that people were doing in Ohio, you know, begging James to stay and talking about how much they loved him and he was the greatest guy in the face of the earth, you know, and he's a local boy made good. But the moment he uh, announced that he was going to go to Miami, boom, he's public enemy number one in Ohio, and the owner of the Cavs has practically put out a hit on the guy's life. And so I'm asking, you know, you know, is there a place for loyalty in professional sports? Because... You know, from my end, it looks like it means nothing. I mean, James apparently didn't have enough loyalty to Ohio to stay there, and uh, the fans and the owner of the Cavs had no loyalty to him. You know, they weren't very thankful to him for all the years he played for them. You know, so the whole loyalty thing seems to mean nothing. I mean, so does does loyalty mean anything in, in professional sports? You know, once he made that announcement, you know, he said that the main reason he was going to go to Miami was because he wanted to win and not just a season. He wants to win a championship because that is the most important thing in sports. And so I'm asking, is winning a championship the most important thing in sports? Because, you know, as kind of an outsider watching, um, you know, that's not the way the media covers it. Usually, you know, the big thing in sports is all this uplifting stuff, you know, where people manage to do things that you would never have believed that they could do. You know, the little guy rising up, that's the big thing in sports. And nothing is bigger than when an underdog comes out of nowhere and wins something big. No, people never get ex more excited about anything than that. So with that in mind, you know, why didn't James choose to go to, you know, an underdog team or stay with the Cavs? Because wouldn't the greatest glory in sports be to, you know, bring one of those underdog teams up and win a championship instead of going to the team, which from everything I've heard, now everyone expects them to win everything. So, you know, where's the challenge there? Where's the glory going to, you know, a powerhouse team. And then the last thing is, uh, you know, after this announcement was made, I heard from a lot of my friends from around the country, like New York and here in Chicago and such, you know, that, you know, they used to like LeBron James. They thought he was a great guy when he was with Cleveland, but now they all hate him. Everybody seems to hate the guy. He's hated all over the place except for Miami because he did something which was apparently completely legal. You know, he hasn't killed anybody. You know, the, you know, nothing underhand was done here. He just chose as a free agent to go to another city, but that makes him a bad guy now. And so, you know, why is that? You know, again, I guess it goes back to this loyalty thing. You know, people kind of expect loyalty from him on the one hand, but, you know, they all understand that he wants to win a championship at all costs. So, you know, if you could share your thoughts with me about this stuff, I'd really appreciate it because this stuff is really confusing.